little video to show you what's going on in the garden this year. Um, this is some, uh, I don't know what you call it, an herb. It's not really an herb, but it's a perennial. I guess it's a perennial plant, but um, it smells like curry. I thought it was just a one-shot thing that I bought last year, but it survived winter and it grew really well. So I took it out of the garden and into pots it's really kind of cool ornamental looking I'm gonna put it out front but it smells really great and you can break the little um, little leaves off um, and uh, grind them up and just put them in cooking and stuff and uh, tastes just like curry so it's really kind of interesting um, this first row first two rows here are red beets and I just planted these like a week ago so <laughs> nothing for progress but just to uh, show you what's gonna what you will see hopefully in a few weeks or maybe probably a month from now the film again um, this is green cabbage this is dinosaur kale and hence the dinosaurs hanging out with it um, this will grow probably about this tall and last all the way to winter I did a lot less kale this year because last couple of years I've just had way too much freaking kale <laughs> I ended up giving a whole bag of it to the uh, shelter to give the bunnies which uh, they really liked but I just uh, I'm gonna stop growing things I don't tend to eat um, I'm doing something new this year I'm trying some pole beans and some um, sugar snap peas and I'm gonna have them growing around uh, I'm sorry pole beans and cucumbers little pickling cucumbers and I'm gonna have them trellis up the windmill because I did some flowers uh, last year, or year before last and they came out really well Cappy don't ruin my video um, then we've got here, this is Bright Lights, um, this is Swiss Chard, and I love this because they come out all different colors, like the leaves are pretty much all the same, they're either red or green, actually the leaves aren't quite different, they're, some are green with red, and some are red with green, and some are red with red veins, and the stalks look like that, so they're super pretty when they grow, and they taste really great, I like to, um, stir fry them or steam them. Um, this space here, I'm going to put some uh, turnips and some other uh, stuff that I'm going to plant from seed. Um, then this is more pole beans and sugar snap peas. And I need to straighten my trellis. It's awful beat up and crooked. Um, then in the gutter planter here, we've got some spicy salad greens all through here because I love it. And some red romaine. I could not find any green romaine, which hopefully I'll find and put in that spot down there. But that's about all oh, the potatoes. Hang on. We have lots of potatoes, which is kind of funny because I'm eating keto and I don't really eat potatoes, but I like to grow them. So these are the Purple Majesties. And these I planted, I thought I put a date on there, just a few weeks ago, but they're really starting to take off, which is awesome. It's getting warm and sunny. And those are russet finger, oh, I'm sorry, Russian fingerlings. And uh, I think those are some more fingerlings. Of course, I forgot a tag. These are red Lasota, red potatoes. And these are my yellows, the Yukon Golds. They were really slow getting going. And then back here, which looks pretty shabby now, but it will get all nice and green and pretty. And I guess I could trim away some of the dead. This is the raspberries. And uh, <laughs> they're coming up behind my old bench there. But uh, yeah, a lot to do with the shard. This, this, I had so many pet losses last year that I just got really depressed and really didn't do anything with the garden last year. So this is like two years of neglect so i need to put some uh, get some good wood chips and get my path filled in nicely here it's all overgrown it used to be grass here wood chips here nice and even and pretty if you look at my old videos you'll see how it's supposed to look and this is the uh the garden of a depressed person losing too many family members but hopefully we will uh, grow some good stuff and i will be able to show you some upcoming videos with lots of yummy stuff growing.